disclosed a whole bunch of stuff like personal, like you were, you know, you went through depression, anxiety, which a lot of people on this show talk about, like Zach Levi has come out with, you know, his mental well-being and, and Stephen Amell has come on and talked about it. I mean, is that something that you're comfortable talking about, about like, you know, dealing with depression and anxiety and, and substance abuse and all that shit? Or is it something okay. you can- No, absolutely. It's funny. Actually, my mom, when I signed on to do heels, my mom called me and was like, hey, like, I didn't realize that Stephen has been open about some of this stuff. Like, that's crazy. And then we bonded over that, you know. Um, like, I basically went through like a really, really rough time. And I mean, it was bad. It wasn't like, you know, like it starts off just like, you know, you're hanging out with friends and everything's fine. And then you realize that there's something like inside of you that's, you know, that you're kind of just trying to hide. And um, I ended up, long story short, like I ended up checking myself into rehab for like 50 days in Arizona. And I just was like, I'm going to lose my, my career or even worse my life if I don't put this together. And like, I want to be a good father and a good husband and a good friend. And, and I'll be none of those if I don't get myself in check. So that was an incredible experience. And one of the greatest experiences of my life. Um, and, uh, yeah, man, it's been, it's been a hell of a journey and it's really crazy to be on the other side of it. I mean, it's never done, but, um, having people reach out, now that are my friends or people I look up to uh, for help. And you realize just how wide this is. I mean, right. you know, I, I lost a friend to addiction uh, six days ago. Wow. So yeah, it's like, you know, you know, it was, it was heartbreaking, man. He was 22 years old and such a good kid. And it's just like, there's no reason why that, that shouldn't have been me. And, um, you, cause you were that bad. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like I would go missing for days and like, it was, you know, I just think I had a lot of demons. I had to really, the hardest part is like, I think you, you medicate with whatever you have and whether it's drugs or alcohol and, um, and suddenly when you get sober, it's a really scary period in your life because what was your higher power for lack of a better word what you would turn to whenever you were feeling you know down or or out um it's not there anymore and now you gotta actually like deal with these issues so there's no magic i always tell people who are like struggling with addiction there's no magic pill like you have to really want this like you have to really want a better life but there is a better life Uh, you know i've been sober for almost four years and and it's it's um it's remarkable how much the universe can reward you in ways you've never expected when you finally decide to love yourself. Yeah. That's the hardest thing in the world. I've talked about it before is loving yourself. It sounds so cliche and like, you got to love yourself before you can love someone else. But you know, it's, it's fucking true. It's true. And it's hard to love yourself. I mean, it's, it seems like, of course you should love yourself. Everybody loves themselves, but like really answering that in front of a mirror when you're alone is a different story. And I've been, I've struggled with that. I've, you know, I don't know, you know, I definitely have my demons and insecurities and thoughts of like, you know, they're going to find you out. You're not really that good. You're not really that, you know, and not and being so hard on myself. So lately I've, lately I say the last couple of years, I went to a treatment center too, but it wasn't, it wasn't for substance abuse. It was just, I felt like completely lost, completely just lost. And my friends were all surprised when I said, I'm going someplace for three weeks and uh, I just need to clear my head. And they're like, because I'm always the guy who organizes sports and activities for everybody and has people over the house. And they're like, what? And I was like, yeah, I just got to do this for me. And it was amazing going there because it was cathartic is the word because you go there and I, I felt like nothing could help me. And then you start to talk to people who you feel like really care about you. And you start to let out these emotions that you never thought you had that you never yeah. thought things from the past affected you. And it's kind of like cleaning shop. It's like, Hey man, I got to yeah. take care of my body. It's like, you know, mental health and, and therapy is just as important as working out and all these other things. They, they go hand in hand in a lot of ways. And so I get it. Not loving yourself. That's a, did you learn in those 50 days to love yourself? I learned like tools. I think that like, I think that, 
loving yourself, it's so much deeper. It's definitely something that you like, it's an active, you know, every day, you know, comes with its own, its own struggles. And some days are easier than others, you know, but um, I certainly realized what the issues uh, that were, that were kind of influencing this, uh, the, this feeling I had about myself were and, and, and how, and, and what I could do to kind of start addressing it. 